Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 and we're doing a gig. We are going to the Empathy Club and we're going to install a virus. I'm sorry for that weird little throat burp there. <laughs> Hardcore BD? Maybe something softer? You don't got any real girls? Avoid getting we into combat. Dancers here. No joy girls, no dolls. I heard this was a fun club. <laughs> I can have you both with a private dance or a hard BD. Excellent choices, both. I want the real deal, not some shitty virtue. Okay, do these guys care that I'm back where I'm not supposed to be? I don't think they care. Okay. So we'll just have to look for the guards and whatnot. They're the ones that we're going to have to worry about. Okay, find the subnet's main computer. Hi, girl. She's just taking a break. Don't mind me. Okay. 1C55, 1CE9. Okay, 1C55, but that 1C doesn't lead to an E9, so that one's not going to work. I don't think that one works. Um, because that one doesn't leave to a 55. 1C. 55. Okay, lots of options there. 1C. 55. 1C. E9. Oh, I'm not going to make it. There's no 1C. Okay. That's all right. Wait, wait, who? Somebody was looking at me through the frickin' door. Okay, not gonna be able to get into their systems from here. How about this one? Adam, thanks for your help. Scrolls are preem, especially the kid with the tattoo. Is he still alive? If he is, we'd love to use him in another virtue. Whatever we need to give him to power through, we can get it. Stars always come first. Ugh. You're fucked, and I mean really fucked. You think I'm just another loser whose drink you can spike, clean out their cred chip, and throw them out on the street? We have no idea who you're messing with. My lords are drafting a lawsuit as we speak. I've got you by the fucking ball sack now. Eddie's. Adam, baby, this is the last time I'm gonna write to you. Eddie's, or your ass gets a beating so hard you want to be able to sit, you won't be able to sit for a month. From now on, I'll be using nonverbal communication. Three days, DD. Okay, no files. Okay, a rare non-lethal for me. Cool club. So let's take it down. Explosion of 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. This dude looks big. He has two health bars. I don't actually know if we can take him down. Masamune. We got the Masamune. Oh, hi. You're not a guard. Um Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't give a shit. He's like, "You know what? Not my job, not my problem." Respect. That scared me. <laughs> All right, I think this is yep, this is the one we need. Okay, now we just need to get out. Well, shit. I could have probably gotten in that way. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking about. Get in, install what you need, get out like it ain't no thing. Gig is closed. All right, not bad. I think I'm finally getting into the swing of this game. This one actually took me a little bit longer to like start to get. I'm, I'm I wouldn't say I'm good. All right, let's let's not mince words here. <laughs> first person shooters are not my strong suit. I'll be the first to admit it, but I feel like I'm getting into the swing of it. Got some good guns. We've got a decent build, if not fully optimized, which it definitely is not fully optimized, but. Okay, how's the skill progression stuff going? Ed Hunter's doing great. Everything else is pretty low. What a solo. Like, how do we get this thing up? Hmm. Oh, well, doesn't matter too much. Surprise, check the nearest drop point. Got something big waiting for your n with your name on it. Consider it a gentle nudge to make sure you keep taking these jobs in, uh, uh, in the same prime direction. Okay. Collect your reward from the drop point. Will do. Fifteen thousand eddies and some street cred. Looks like we got a level up. Okay, there we go. Um, we have midair dash now. So nice. There have been a couple times where I've tried doing that when I'm jumping around and couldn't, so I'm actually very happy to have that. By the way, you're welcome to swing by any time. Club's always open. Hard work pays off, ain't that right, V? You're starting to become a known quantity, meaning I've got some fresh gigs for you. Okay, new gigs in this area. All right, let's go and do this Cyber Psycho. He's pretty close. Has grenade, tier four quick hack components. Cool. Apparently we went too hot. Oh no! I can't win. Hey, 
Hey, this ain't funny, you feel me? V. Hey. Some construction workers went on strike after finding their tools in the morning covered in blood. Their site's a parking lot where gangs have been known to pop up. Gang violence is a maybe, sure, but my money's on a cyber psycho attack. If I'm right, do what you can to incapacitate them. I'll take it from there. Okay, you got it. Oh my god, their heads are gone. Shotgun wounds as well. But I think the big one is the um, no fucking head. Thank you very much. Uh, can I loot them? Sometimes they have things that we have to read. Worth checking. Man, I hate the fucking fire, dude. Carnage. Cedric Muller and Macy J. Nakanyet nailed it. Nailed that pronunciation. I need those neuroblockers. A lot of them. Now. So we'll get some. Fuck, I said I need them now. Pain's got me losing my damn mind. Chill. They'll get here when they get here. What's the pain from, from anyway? They poisoned me. Fucking Biotechnica. Everyone here's got it. Their goddamn lungs are collapsing. Some are dead already. I swear, once I'm back on my feet. Alright, shit. Was just trying to be polite. Never asked for your whole fucking life story. Yukimura. Cut off shorts. Another conversation. You get those blockers the client wanted? Uh, no, what client? The annoying one. Oh, that one. Shit, don't got him. So, now what? How are you gonna make it up to him? Massage his balls? First of all, fuck you. And second of all, why are we the ones cleaning up Biotechnica's mess? Good point, so what's on the menu? I say we carve him to the fucking bone. Just don't forget the tools, because I'm not yanking out his implants with my bare hands. Meds or no meds, Gonk's fucked anyway. Plus, not like he would have put in a good word for us. He still got bad lungs? Who the fuck cares? Instead of meds, he'll get still to the gut. Life's a bitch, ain't it? 
Oh, come off it. You had a job and you botched it. Fucking own up and stop acting so smart. Took a gentle approach with Cedric. I already went through enough, being a lab rat for Biotechnica. Scavs took a different approach. Decided to kick him while he was down. No wonder he snapped. Could have happened to anyone. Doubt there's a whole lot to uncover, but I guess you have your own methods. First the corpse, uh, corpos, then the scavs. At least he managed to stop his downward spiral. Maybe he'll manage to snap out of it with his nomad family. Yeah, I guess he's not dead dead. All right. Okay, what to next then? Another gig? And then maybe this, uh... I fought the law? Oh, Elizabeth Perales. They called me a while ago. I think I remember doing that quest. I think I remember a couple things about it. We'll see if it's the one I'm thinking of. Damn, it was gonna run me over. Okay, get inside 7th Hell. Gun for Hire, Neutralize Jack Mauser, 7th Hell Club, Corner Corporation Street, and Ring Road West. I'll cut to the chase. Jack Mauser, NC's Gonkus Merc, did a recent job for me and went too far. Way too fucking far. He was supposed to collect some shards from a Zeta Tech transport, quiet like. Except it wasn't fucking quiet. That psycho offed every single guard, beheaded the driver, and blew up the truck. Corpse foaming at the mount, searching high and low for the prick and I'll be damned if I go down cause of him. I need you to toss his head at their feet. Maybe then they'll let this go. Mauser owns a seedy club downtown called 7th Hell. Gut tells me he's holed up there till the smoke's cleared. I need you to get inside the club and take his psycho ass down, preferably on the down low. Understood? Good. Let me know when it's done. Okay, preferably on the down low, huh? I mean, I was gonna go guns blazing. Make an example of him. So are these guys gonna stop me from going in? I might need to find a different way in. Whoa! Think fleas like you just get in for free? Hear me out, Chum. I'm hitting up NC's Primus joints for some fresh XBD talent. Chicks and fellas who aren't afraid to show a little skin for quick and easy eddies, you follow? Not interested. Well, you're about to be. For every actor comes out with me, you get 10% of their fee. Guaranteed eddies, zero risk. What do you say, in or out? Huh. All right, fine. Go ahead. Nice job, street kid. Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. 
That's what peeps with bad taste always say. <laughs> Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it. <laughs> okay, Johnny. Okay. All right. Avoid entering combat inside the club, optional, and find Jack Mauser. My guess is we're going to have to go into a, uh, a red area in order to uh, get to him. That's got to be him, right? That's Jack Mauser, right there. Hey, watch it. Okay. Oh, I can talk to him. Lawson said. I don't think that's how that's supposed to go. Did I not save? I'm usually pretty good about that. Um. Oh no, that's outside of the club. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I thought that was the parking garage from where we got the uh, Cyber Psycho. Whoa! Think fleas. Sweet G. Uh, hey, before you leave. how's it going? Want to have a word with your boss, Ian? Oh, you're out of luck. He doesn't really like to talk. I don't care if he likes to talk. I asked you if he was here. Uh, sure, he's upstairs in the VIP room. Just don't expect a friendly welcome. Music in here is god-awful. Eh, I like it. Beat keeps me awake. Fair enough. Okay, let's look around, see if we can talk to people, maybe get like a VIP badge or something. I don't know. We should have gone to the afterlife. Okay, if we go there, will you promise to quit pissing in my fucking ear? Long time no see. Yeah, you know how it goes. Fuck you going. VIP areas for VIPs. No, the boss, we're tight. Boss knows a lot of peeps. Sure as shit ain't tight with a single one. Yeah, but... But, 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 but. Boss said to let nobody in once in alone time. So cut the act. Okay. Turn around or shit gets ugly. Okay, so I can go up. I also might be able to do something in here. Space. It's hopeless. The whole world is fucked. Damn it. Why? Can't do anything from this side either. <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? Nobody's in there. Hey, get a job. <laughs> Excuse me. No, nope, can't do it. I can keep my cool. I can keep my cool. Unlike some people.
Do you have somewhere I can hide him? I don't think so. Just in case the guard comes in or something. Okay, something I can actually do. Okay, this seems promising. Go over top the stage and get over on the other side. I think that's what's going to happen here. There's more than one dude in there, though. That happened ridiculously fast. He must have been facing me or something. Okay, so we need to take down the camera. Oh, there's a thing over there we can hack? How did I miss that? Okay, friendly mode. Turrets and cameras treat your enemy as their enemies and assist in combat, whether you are in combat or undetected. Okay, so we got friendly mode. Okay, that doesn't last forever. What the? What? Ah! Man, that dude is quick. You don't even get a second with him. He's on high alert. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, we're just gonna turn that off. Oh. 
What the? Who the fuck are you? How'd you get in here? Quiet down, or I'll have to cut our convo okay. short. Oh, I get it. Got a bounty on my head, have I? Who hired you? Militech? Asukaga? Or was it that wanker? Dino? I guess that's why he, uh. Yeah, like it even matters. Found out my. Sit down, Jack. I'm extending a fucking courtesy here. The fact that you're still alive means I'm open to parley. <laughs> parley, vu, go fuck yourself. Chit chats for assholes. So let's get it over and done with. You versus me. Come on. Say you win. Say you put me out of commission. You think your problems will just vanish into thin air? You crawled under a lot of people's skin. Said so yourself. Militech, Asukaga, Dino. They won't stop till your head falls at their feet. So what? I'm supposed to blow my fucking brains out? Oh, good idea. You'd be saving me lead. <laughs> Very fucking funny. Shatter all right, so apparently that whole interaction is locked in. What is the word I'm looking for? It's scripted. What the? Who the fuck are you? How'd you get in here? Quiet down, or I'll have to cut our convo short. Oh, I get it. Got a bounty on my head, have I? Who hired you? Militech? Asukaga? Or was it that wanker, Dino? <laughs> like it even matters. So is the only way to not kill him is to convince him not... What? <laughs> Okay, are we sc <laughs> What the? Who the fuck are- <laughs> Like it even matters. Sin. No. All you have to do is leave Night City. I'll tell him you took lead between the eyes and none will be the wiser. You can start over. A brand new life. Yeah? Start with what? Everything I got's here. My club, staff, my girls. And everyone who wants you dead. So people just automatically know I did that. That's dumb. That's actually dumb. I'm over here trying to, like, find clever ways of achieving the optional goal it tells me to, and it's just like, nah. He turned away. What the? Who the fuck? <laughs> like it even matters. So. Yeah? Start with what? Everything I got's here. My club, staff, my girls. And everyone who wants you dead. This isn't a multiple fucking choice. You're living on borrowed time. Shit. Motherfucking bleeding cunt asshole. Was that a yes or a no? Just piss off and tell him the job's done. Okay. There's only one solution. That's... Pretty lame, in my opinion. What you doing up there? What you doing there, big guy? Hmm. Weirdo. All right, I didn't like the I didn't like the options there. They needed more options. There needed to be more. Um, yeah, there just needed to be more options there. You persuaded Masa? 
Fucking hell, if I knew you could wag your tongue like that, I could have made you NC's richest drink slinger. Wasting your talents on the streets instead of behind a bar. But cool, cool. Loss is gone, so's the problem. You get your eddies, I close the gig. All good? All good. The other thing that's frustrating about that is that wasn't the job. There is no reason that I should have assumed that this guy would be okay with me not doing the job as contracted. I, yeah, that, that was dumb. I hated everything about how that plays out. There's not an internal logic to it. We were contracted to do a job. We didn't do it. And the guy who gave us the job is like, cool, you did better than I expected. It's like, no, that wasn't the job, bro. Uh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, let's go to our drop point. Threw a little extra for you at the nearest drop point. Professionalism deserves its own reward. Am I right? Professionalism being not doing the job you were contracted to do. <laughs> that is not how criminal enterprise works. <laughs> Don't mind me. Looted a knife and 25,000 eddies. What's up, Perales? Are you V? Please step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Perales? The one running for mayor of Night City? The one. So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales? Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election. Would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, 
He made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security no scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. Okay, well we know a if Judy. You agree to help? You can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. Okay. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Okay. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! Re reward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Supreme, do it after the conference. Oh, shit. Dude came in quick. And this time, don't go scroll every as you see. I step along to City Hall, Okay. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Okay, switch layers. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. <laughs> nah, he'd rather be a dick. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Please, come in. Let him wait. It's for to speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Fucking, he's such a dick. <laughs> Terminal crashed right as he went Oh the my god. Glitch was no accident. Nah. Seen stranger coincidences. 
Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. <laughs> that really happened to you? Nah. But it could have. Yeah, alright, bro. Okay. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Oh, well, well. All right, got to find the right pixel. Dream, do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Okay, that's everything. You're here. Fantastic. So, any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Rather not jump to any conclusions. That's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Okay, so he had something to gain. The conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop? Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> ha, clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? Oh yeah, because he was touch. DA. Mayor's Hustle. They in CPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. All right. River Ward. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why. You're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. Do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the Scott and Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. What a name. Be there, Stan. I want to go to Chubby Buffaloes. 
Can I please go to Chubby Buffaloes? In real life? Buffalo. What are you blind? Yeah, I remember River. I remember parts of this quest. Chubby Buffalo's Barbecue. Don't make me hungry now. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Don't be soft. Upgrade now. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give okay. a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friends. Corruption! Just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. It's being swept under the rug. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Your Wouldn't little girl. Okay, so they've got... Okay. They've got leverage on him, Talk. then. I'm already starting to see, uh... I'm starting to see the seams here. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then. I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. All right, whatever's going on in the background. That that music, man. It's not good. <laughs> in case you were wondering what I thought of it, it's not good. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> Run! Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. 
Shamed? No. She's not something you see every day. She's just healthily skeptical. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Yeah, that's true. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard, it's some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. It's a win-win. Win-win. So, where to first? Um, let's go and meet your CI. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. Okay. All right. Wait here, then. All right. We talked to the confidential informant in the next episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, Turkeyfoot27, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.